Welcome everybody to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. Welcome. Well, it's been a lovely day today and uh, today's topic is um, the part three really of my uh, Pure Energy Healing Oils. And uh, got one ready and uh, this time it's the correct one. <laughs> this is, um, it should have been part two, but part two ended up being the abundance oil. Um, but this is cleansing oil. So this was my, I'll start from the very beginning, I guess. The first, the first video that I made was my healing oil, how it all started. And then the second oil became a cleansing oil. You see, after the first oil, I was giving healing sessions to people and I was finding, um, and, I, and I often ask this to certain healers, do you ever find patterns that people come to you for certain reasons? And it seems like, you know, like 10 people came to me for heartbreak this week. Uh, last week, you know, 15 people came to me because they, they, their, you know, mother died. And it's like there seem to be patterns in, in my healing career. So the reason why I say that is because of how the um, oils organically took shape. So after the first months, I started to find that people were coming to me with, let's say, very, very heavy stuff, stuff that they couldn't understand they didn't know what was going on. They just knew that there was something that didn't feel right within them. They actually said, I don't feel myself or I don't feel uh, like I can feel anything anymore. And sometimes people were saying that, you know, some would dare mention that they could either hear voices in their head or that they were influenced by, let's say, thoughts that they'd never had before. Of course, I didn't know anything about this. I, I was new to healing. So I, I'm like, okay, I use the healing oil. But as as the weeks and, and months went by, I started realizing that there's something missing. The healing oil was working on a level which was beautiful, um, but there was something deeper that I had to help with. After the healing session, they were always fine. But I found they were going back home and then coming back and the same thing occurred. And, you know, to a point I'm thinking, is it me? Am I a bad healer? Which is a good thing to do, to look at yourself. Am I doing something wrong? What, what's going on? And then I, I kind of started asking people, you know, would you mind if I, you know, come back to your house one day and just to sit and have a coffee and, and just feel the energy in the house? Because we're not seeming to be making much progress and you keep coming back and yes, I can feel something is not right. The energy is very strange within your body. So I found that going to the house, um, the energy in the house or the issues in the house needed to be resolved. But what I decided to after some months was I needed to make an oil that would be specially to really, really cleanse and clear negative energy. So I started um, hunting for the right oil. Now, I'd gone through many, many different oils and I was struggling at this point. I didn't really uh, know what oil to use. And every time I smelt an oil uh, that I thought I would, I would add to my new jar called cleansing oil, it took ages and nothing really resonated until the day came that I was introduced to uh, Paolo Santo. And that was a, a life changing moment for me because as soon as I smelt it, I knew that was it. This is it. There's, there was nothing to touch it for this particular um, cleansing process. So I started hunting for Paolo Santo and um, I bumped, bumped into a few different people who were um, alchemists and some people were saying, just be careful. I'm like, why? Well, just like crystals, you do get like oils that are not really the oil that you think. And I'm like, well, I've never smelled anything like this before, so I don't know what you mean. But they just said, be careful. I'm like, okay, I, I, I didn't really get it. But I, I then set off on a mission to to find where Paolo Santo came from. And of course it's from Peru and it's a very sacred tree. And then I wanted to find a family who would make it, um, not from 
companies, not from big companies, just a family company that would, you know, produce it in a way which would be totally natural. So natural meaning, organic, uh, no, no messing about with it. Just, you know, food grade, it's got to be just the best. And I was lucky enough, I, I ended up finding uh, a family and to this day, I still use them. And thus began the, the oil. And I waited till I got um, a litre and uh, I remember I just poured loads in and then put a, a, I think Jehovah at that time, or it could have been almond, but I put a base oil into it and uh, started with the crystals, which at the time, funnily enough, I'd, I'd started working with a, a crystal called Tektite and I knew that Tektite was a great energy for um, uh, absorbing negative energy. So I wanted to get that same frequency into it. I also used uh, black tourmaline and many others. And to this day, where are you, baby? Mm. So you can see it there, that's, that's the cleansing oil. So you can see how dark the colors are in there. And uh, I'm gonna get some grief now, uh, because I'm gonna say to you, that some of the crystals in there are uh, polished. Um, Malakola, Malachite, who should use them? Look, there's a lot of shoulda, coulda, wouldn't in, in my oils, but I do, literally. There's a lot of things that um, alchemists would tell me that I shouldn't do. Uh, sorry, it's really hot in here. Uh, literally, it's on fire in here because the temperature out there is so hot and. I haven't put a fan on me because it's too loud. So, yeah. But when you add energy frequency into it, when you put energy into it, it doesn't it doesn't go off, it doesn't go rancid, it doesn't do anything if you put the energy into it constantly. So this morning when I came in, I, I gave everyone, as I do, five minutes just with my hands on there and put my thought process in there and through the energy that's in the room and channeling and you know, when I say thought, I'm talking about when I connect to my, which I believe is the the doorway to um, the spirit world, which is your creativity, your, you know, that creative energy that you bring through, not the brain per se, but that beautiful place where everybody says, oh, you've got vivid imagination. Yeah, well, actually, mate, that's that's a hijack. If you go into your imagination and bring that forward, you actually tap into something that it's so unbelievable. I, I, I heard a, a story the other day, um, and I heard it many, many years ago about um, uh, those that have been in contact with, contact with um, those from, whether you believe that they're from underneath the, the earth or from another planet, it doesn't matter, but they often say that we don't truly understand our, our gift, almost like we have just We've become so lazy we don't know who we are and how powerful we are and i hear that so many times over the years and it often brings me to a wonderful place to realize that there is so much about us as as um this human body but the consciousness inside us that can create things that can do things that you know a dumb idiot just won't believe and just think that all we're here to do is eat drink sleep and work so i try and um work in the same method in the same outlook on my oils incense and crystals to believe that we are greater more powerful and we can add in greater and more powerful energy which then does change the whole um you know science base this is how it should be and this should go off and this should mix with this you actually no don't say that to me because i've done all what you've said that's wrong but it's all right and they're absolutely fantastic and, and provable by thousands of clients. So getting back to the cleansing oil, I went through a process of dealing with people with this great heaviness of energy. And um, Paolo Santo came and it, it just, it changed everything. And I, I realized that when I was mixing the Paolo Santo with the, the base oils and then the crystals in there, after maybe two or three months when I get excited, but at the same time nervous whether it's going to work or not, I take it out and place it on my clients. So this is how it works after 
me explaining how I created it. This is it, fresh one here. I can smell it from here. Three drops. Rub it into your hands. Breathe in through the nose. Hold for three seconds. Blow out through the mouth. Exhaling all the toxins from within. Fantastic. So, I like to rub on my temples with cleansing. I like to rub on the back of my neck. I love to rub it on the heart and chest area. I love to rub it on the stomach area. And then I would take another three more drops because this is important. Rub it again and go to the back. And this is where cleansing oil really works its magic, especially on healers. If you're a practitioner, you will feel a different level of um, cleansing and health and well-being when you rub it on your back. You go up to um, the kidneys and come round and then go down to the, the base of your spine and back up again. And if you do that uh, before and after every healing session, um, it's incredible. It really is. It clears away uh, heavy, trapped negative energy, uh, especially when you work, when you rub it on the heart, if you've got any kind of attachment negative energies there. Again, it clears it instantly. There's something so profound about Paolo Santo. It, it is like a, a miracle for cleansing um, entity, demonic, anything, if you believe that. If you don't, it doesn't matter. I just call it negative energy. It clears it away instantly. So the reason why I rub it on the temples is because if I've got anything that's been bothering me that day, upset me, and I'm, I'm regurgitating thoughts all the time, that creates, I am the creator of negative energy. So I rub it here, it, you'll find um, it'll, it, it'll clear your thoughts and you'll go into a, a much better state. I, I, did, I failed to mention that breathing this in through the nose, holding for three seconds and, and exhaling through the mouth should be done minimum of 10 to 20 times, right? That, that's a must because you're really clearing a lot from the inside of your head and, and up through the heart and out through the mouth and it goes down as low as obviously your stomach. So these are the places, I tell you what, once I'd created that, there wasn't really anything that I'm like, okay, I need different oils in. Whereas all my other oils, I, I like to, you know, every now and again, add different um, flower remedies to them and, and, and different oils of, of, you know, one kind or another. Aromatherapy oils, are, are to me, are fantastic. Natural oils are fantastic. I, I do try and get um, as much as I can um, the, first, the first layer which is always the strongest, but it's very rare and it's hard. They normally, they keep them for the very, very wealthy. That's, you know, uh, royalty and very, very wealthy people. Same as here, if you ask for the, uh, the first, the, the first um, press of, um, of the olive oil, you just can't get it. I was really lucky this year to be able to get the first press and it's, it's overly expensive, but, it's a different, it's a different, it's a game changer. So if you can get the first press, it's fantastic. Uh, so I try and get the first press for all my oils, but it's not always that easy. But I do get very, very good quality. That's important. And they're all natural. So going back to cleansing oil, what is it good for? Cleansing oil is amazing for when people upset you and cause your... Um, yourself to create a negative energy inside. If you are in and amongst people who are, let's say, of, you know, just low vibration, you need to cleanse that and clear that away from yourself. So you would be obviously putting it on the heart, um, temples, and on your back, always on your back. Uh, if somebody says bad things about you, goes to the back all the time. Rubbing the heart, go to the back. And the mat is, I mean, really, one, two, three. If you're, if you're having trouble, if you've been fighting and arguing, then of course you're gonna rub it on your throat. You're gonna rub it all over your throat. You wanna clear that away, what you've been saying. 
if you're in a place where you know it's not of good energy, you just felt awful being in that place, there, there's a possibility that you can have attachment um, and so on. So again, it's important to where you feel it. I normally ask my client um, afterwards, where, where did you feel it? And they, they, they say it was just in my head and I'm like, okay, that's where I, I felt I was there the most. Uh, sometimes my client afterwards will say it was in my heart and you were over my heart and I'm like, yeah, I felt it there. So we've cleared that uh, attachment negative energy away. So follow your own instinct when you're using uh, cleansing. Follow the instinct of where you feel you should put it. There are other places to use it. I'm just giving you outlines, but follow your instinct. It will never, it, you, you won't get it wrong. So that's that. Uh, other things. You know, I've got to say, I don't do it anymore now, but I used to go into hospitals um, with people who were suffering really bad. And I would always cleanse myself before and after, always. Um, heavy places like graveyards or, you know, if you have to go and visit somebody in a, in a jail, you know, you have to go to a prison to visit somebody, like, just cleanse yourself of these places. Um, and I know this sounds awful, but I always cleanse myself after I went into any uh, religious uh, building uh, because you can pick up an attachment from there for sure. So these are the things that you need to be aware of. Also, when you're in the vicinity or around places which are classed as very bad places where bad things happened, always cleanse yourself too. So for me, I know probably all them things won't mean that much and what probably will mean more to you if, as if I'm saying to use the oil to keep it with you and when you're in the company of bad company if you're about to have a fight with somebody if you have to be a supermarket and um, and you have to stay there longer than you should um, if you're in a, a a family environment where you just don't want to be in that family environment or any kind of environment where you feel down, especially like, you know, jobs is the main one, of course. Like if you're in your job and you, you're in a corporate or you're in, you know, you're a nurse or you, you, whatever you do with the general public and you have to deal with them all day. This is actually fantastic for that. Again, I would use it um, on the heart here to deal with the stress from from what you're getting heart to strengthen yourself and clear yourself of anything that they they're throwing at you a stomach so it doesn't sit there and of course the back so i've mentioned this many times before many healers never work on their back never heal their back and their kidneys are always attacked by negative energy uh, it's just part of the the game and so many healers when they get older struggle to walk with uh, bag it, bad issues, bad back. And, and I noticed that with a lot of healers when I was younger. And uh, I could see it. I could see it just looking like, wow, you've got massive issues on the back. Um, so these are the, these are the things that I worked with this oil and it made a huge difference, not only for my clients, but for me. So I use this often um, and it's never let me down. So predominantly when you smell it, you will always smell Paolo Santo. It's the highest grade. It's worked upon by beautiful family. So it's all positive. And like I said, they're in the oils and they've been there now for 18 years in that jar. Not that particular jar. They've changed from jars to jar. They've got bigger and bigger over the years. But the, the hundreds of crystals in there and some are, are really, really rare crystals inside there that I won't touch because I know they're gorgeous but are worth a fortune but I want them in there because they're purposely there to add to the frequency and vibration of such a beautiful oil. Um, I also on a side note that I don't normally mention and I haven't probably mentioned to you but after I've made a certain uh, amount of Maldivite oils after I've put my uh, whatever oil sorry I put my energy into them after I've done that they go into a singing bowl, which is actually the Moldavite singing bowl, that's why I said Moldavite, and I I put the sound frequency in there as well. Um, plus the fact that nobody else works with them, it's only me, and it always has been. Nobody bottles them, nobody puts stickers on them, I do everything. So they, I only ever work with my oils when I am feeling 100%. 
I don't touch them otherwise. I, I, I use them to heal myself, um, but I never work with anything. No, no tools, no crystals, no oils, no incense, unless I'm 100% well and fit and feeling good. And that way I know that when it comes to you as a bottle of cleansing oil or the healing oil or the abundance oil, you know you've got something precious. It's not just made from China. It's not made from a big corporation in your local shop that you buy your oils from. This is by an individual who is a healer, who's been healing since 38 years old. Even to this day I heal, I send out healing. So I do it with you know love and compassion and, and everything that I do, I do from a high frequency. I try and laugh as much as I can. It's not always easy to do, but today's been a great day. I've had a great laugh today. Um, so I hope you appreciate that. My cleansing oil is absolutely fantastic for cleansing anything negative. I've never been let down with that oil. And uh, whenever I place that oil um, on anybody who's in a bad place, whether it's attachments, whether it's uh, what you believe, some people will say, uh, dark demonic entities or energies. I tell you guys, it works. It really wholeheartedly works. It's fantastic for children when they can't get any sleep, just rub it on again here, let them breathe it in. They'll get a good night's sleep with it. And also it protects. It's a protective oil. It's not just cleansing. It basically protects you from negative energy. It basically blasts it out. It blasts negative energy that you create by worrying and thinking of what somebody said or what they didn't say, or it really helps in so many ways. So my miracle, I call it a miracle because it is. Um, it's my miracle oil, which is the number two oil, and it's called cleansing oil. I hope you appreciate it. Have a great day. I'll put one link below and that is for um, uh, one, two and three bottles. I hope you appreciate it. And if anybody is out there who's ever used my healing oils, it would be really lovely for you to uh, make a comment to give people an understanding of maybe what it did for you. And because I can't share everything, uh, it does a lot more than what I've said, but maybe you can add to it and tell people your experience so that it gives them the confidence to know that this guy isn't just talking, that there's actually truth in here. Most people talk these days and say nothing. And I hope you can really feel the truth being said through the first moment I decided to make these oils till this day. So have a great day and thank you so much for going to markbyersky.com and buying your authentic oils incense and crystals. Have a great day.